Hi, just taking my usual Greenway ride. Today's ride ended a little bit differently. Yeah, this is quite a wet section of the trail. Yeah, the next stop is a little bit of a mess too, but rideable, as you can see. Well, unfortunately, this ends my Greenway ride. The creek is definitely overflowing. It's not moving too fast right here. I'm not getting any push at all, but it doesn't look like a good ride and my bike is pretty submerged. This is definitely worse than Matthew. And you can see the bridge that takes you over to Allegheny Road, five points. And then here is the main area of the creek. So I ended up turning around and got back, um, I was on Mine Creek, um, Greenway by the way, and then I got back on North Hills Drive and rode down to the Crabtree Creek Trail entrance there. And as you can see, it's passable for now. Let's see if I can get in. Well, I literally came in the greenway right here got down to the bottom of the connector and now there's this go a little deeper and check out not too deep yeah i'm not even going to bother to attempt to get to the bridge where glenwood avenue crosses um let's see if i can zoom in this goes way far back there's no way i'm gonna get there and feel comfortably safe. What we're looking at is the retaining wall alongside the Crabtree Creek Trail, uh, the Greenway Trail. And then coming over here, these are the railings to the bridge slash spot that you take to go under Highway 70 or Glenwood Avenue. Look like looks like it's a little um, more shallow right under the highway but yeah this is definitely not rideable I'd say mine Creek Trail headed towards Shelly Lake is pretty rideable puddles here and there overflowing storm sewers but um there are some trees down done with my ride for the day this is um, the little entrance to Mine Creek Trail or Ironwood Trail off of Shelly Lake, coming from Shelly Lake. This is uh, not too bad of a section. You can see it gets dry over there. 